Fuck yeah. What would be the wisdom that you would tell your younger self getting into music? What would be the best wisdom or game that you could give yourself? Like if you got the opportunity to go back, talk to yourself before you made the decision to really want to make music, what would be that lesson or game? Taking it serious more earlier. I don't nigga, I'm 32. I didn't really start like I've been rapping since I was 15. I didn't really start pushing the issue till I was like 24. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like really pushing the issue with this music. 24, 25 years old. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you, it, it, and that's what anything you do, bro. Like you gotta push the the issue. You want something. You especially if you want something on a bigger scale that's bigger than average. You really gotta push the issue. And it and anything worth having, homie. I swear to God, it takes time. Oh God. <laughs> I promise you. Oh I God. Promise you what do, about bro. you? Uh, I probably would tell myself to. Um create create my character earlier like that's a lot of things like even like you said would you see somebody sometimes you just got to have the it factor some people just don't have that it factor you just don't have the whole thing you got to be able to perform all that so like i'm not you i'm gonna get a little bit more care like lately i've been more characteristic i finally got my yeah yeah i I know what i want to (laughs) say before my raps all these things are important creating your musical character and pushing, that's a brand. That person is a brand. That character, whoever, even if it's not a lie, I'm not saying YG Case is a lie or nothing, but when I get on a mic, when I record, when I go do, I got to be in a different mode. You got to be in a different, like, create your character and build your brand earlier. I, I think that's what I would tell myself. Just find find me. I do want to bring this up because both y'all from PH. In um, The Holly, mm-hmm. Terrence the one, Roberts dropped the movie. Whoa. About a movie from up top. Yeah. When I when I seen the title of the Holly, I thought it was gonna be about Park Hill. You feel what I'm saying? The Holly. Oh, you God. get what I'm saying? I, I don't think that's what I received from it after. <laughs> but I wanna say what how do y'all feel about it and what did you take from did you watch it first and how what'd you take I, from it? I haven't watched it yet. I've been telling you know him. him He's been it telling me to watch it. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet because what I'm trying to get away from is being too judgmental, my nigga. And I, you know, sometimes I don't have no filter. I get to talking shit about niggas and create bullshit commotion that don't even really matter. So that's why I haven't watched it yet because all the feedback I've been getting, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know if I would have watched this. So shit, from bro. somebody who watched it, <laughs> yeah. What what did you take from it? I don't want I what did you take from it for the first time you watched it? Uh it's a great it's a great documentary, for sure. First and foremost. Not only did I watch it, but I was very much like a part of this place. This is me. It's Park Hill. That's my That's my block. That's my up top. I, I own that spot. I feel like in my heart, my mind, <laughs> Straight everything up. right now. So uh, it was a very good documentary, and it's a very true story. I hold it dear in my heart. Everybody that's in this documentary uh, is friends of mine or so, at some sort. At some point, they was all my comrades. You know what I mean? Um, I, I feel like it was a... I ain't gonna talk too much about it. Was it a good portrayal of that time it frame? Was a, it was a great portrayal of the documentary that it was talking about. Now, there's another documentary coming out with Macado and Active and myself, and we're on the same Holly. Like, there's there's a lot of things that happen on the Holly. Right. You can go to the horizon, Unk is in the front, and you get his perspective of the Holly too, yeah. and it's not gonna be the documentary. Right. There's a lot of things going on on the Holly. So at this time with Terrence Roberts, yeah, I mean, that was, I guess that's what you call it because, yeah, that's where he was trying to put his stuff together. And that one little building that was on the Holly, it was a very important building and it was on the Holly, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to say it was a bad portrayal. No, that, that was the bad part of it. Yeah. It, was, it was some of the bad parts of the Holly, but it was, it was true. It's a true yeah. story. It's a, it's a great documentary and it's some stuff that's happened on the Holly and it happens on every block. You got rats and Niggas trying to change the world on every block. Every the Holly city, is one of them. Every city, then you every got block. me up top, still gang banging, pushing this blood shit, and <laughs> I'm on the same Holly. So when y'all Straight see up. my documentary called The Holly Part Two, <laughs> it ain't gonna have nothing to do with Terrence Roberts, that <laughs> building, or the Boys and Girls Club. Gonna have to do with a whole bunch of niggas with red flags <laughs> on this gang bang because that's what the Holly Straight really up. about. 